So, welcome to Prague. We just stopped here on the way to our new uh, apartment, which is outside the city, because the city is crazy expensive on weekends. Uh, there's nothing under $60. Even the cheapest hostel would be more than $60. So right now, we stopped by. So I had a quick class. Now we're gonna find some lunch. It was a long car ride from Western Germany to Prague, but it was very beautiful, not only in Germany, but especially in the Czech Republic. As you can see here, I drove mostly on the countryside because there it's more beautiful and green, but also to avoid the toll roads in the Czech Republic. So we have some traditional food. I have no idea what this is. It looks delicious. Wow. Poof, and here they have the same thing. I don't know, what is the name? And here the line is longer, so maybe it's better than the other shop. And the guys even dressing up traditionally. It looks so delicious. So this thing is like six, seven dollars. So these things are called Trutlo. I'm not sure how to pronounce it. But this shop is cheaper. Still, nobody buys here. The Czech Republic, also formerly known as the Czech Slovakia, is a landlocked country in the heart of Europe. It has 10.5 million residents and its capital is Prague. It's a very beautiful bridge. There's a Czech pharmacy. And over there's a river coming a boat. Oui. So they also for boat tours. Please subscribe if you want to see more amazing places around this world. Very nice church. Just in tourist town. Unfortunately, the prices for accommodation in Prague are pretty high during the weekend, even on the outskirts of town. I was shocked to find that even a hostel bed for two people would cost $60 on the weekend. Therefore, we decided to head out of town into the green countryside and come back on Monday. So, our new accommodation, some kind of nature camp. So you rented this cabin for $30. Of course, there's Paolo's piano, which we instantly had to build up. Toilets are shared outside. We haven't seen them yet. And it's quite cold and rainy in the end of May. But the nature seems pretty. So, this is the cabin, and there's our car. It rained a lot today. The birds are having fun. Oi, oi, oi. Up and down. Wow, lots of bird nests. They can't understand anything from the menu. It's all in Czech. Luckily we have a fancy app called Google Translate, which understands basically more or less pork steak, fried sausage, horseradish. There's so many big dogs in the restaurant. You know, pancakes. What is a pancake? Yes. Pancakes for three dollar and a soup for two dollar. It's a very pretty lake, but it's too cold to swim. This place was listed as a beach resort on Booking.com, and it in fact is a beach resort because it has a beach and it is well, it's more like a camping place. But yeah, it's beautiful. As you can see here, surrounded by nature. Uh, we just enjoyed our weekend here and it's just a stunning place. It's just great to relax and enjoy the fresh air and time in the nature. So today there's a dog competition of these lovely furry big dogs and there are plenty of them here just at our place and they're performing very well today. They're called Leonberger. I guess they're just evaluated for obedience. So the most obedient dog will win, plus the prettiest. And there are the prices. The birds are already awake. We're gonna have breakfast in this wonderful restaurant here. This lake plaza, the junior camp, that's about four dollars something. 
Let's see if it's worth it. We have a delicious breakfast buffet here. That's traditional stuff like what is the soup? Ooh, shush, shush. And here, non-vegan. Non-vegan. Non-vegan, non-vegan. This could be vegan. And there's bread. Unfortunately, there weren't many vegan choices at the breakfast. However, we still enjoyed our stay. So we just stopped because we saw this beautiful castle on the way. So let's let the DJI fly and then continue to the skeleton castle. So, today we're visiting this infamous skull church. I forgot the name. Okay, you can film. Today we're visiting the very famous skull church, also called Setlek Osario, which you can see behind me. It has 10,000 reviews. It misses 44 reviews, then we'll get 10,000. with a 4.6 uh, star rating. So let's see if it's worth it. So this is a church, but this actually wants entrance because it is a very special church. And it also has a graveyard. So here's also an interesting sculpture outside the church. So here's a souvenir shop and maybe also a ticket shop. Let's see what they have. It's all about skulls. So now we got a ticket, it's about seven dollars. Let's see if it's worth it. So this is the place. So photos are not allowed. I'm not sure how it's about filming. It looks pretty small for this price. I'm wondering if these real bones could be all fake. Wow, this sculpture has creeped me out. It was very scary to see all these bones in the church. And the most scary part is that these bones are in fact real. So these are real bones from people who've died during the medieval ages. And it is kind of an art piece. Unfortunately, it wasn't allowed to film or take photos in the church. But I just didn't want to leave without any footage that I can present you here on my YouTube channel. Therefore, I was filming secretly and yeah, accordingly the footage is not the best, but at least you can get an impression of what the church is like. And I really enjoyed my visit. Here were murdered. Okay, these here were murdered, but not all of them were murdered, I guess. Or were they? So, this is the other part of the church, and I think here you're finally allowed to film officially. balcony and I guess that's already everything it's not too big we just arrived here in Prague the capital city of the Czech Republic uh, we're just on the outskirts of the city but we're gonna see downtown right now so come on and follow me so here we have the former city gate of Prague next to the Opera House which uh, has beautiful mosaic pictures and statues on the top. The woman is fighting against the bird and luckily she actually also has these needles on her head 
so the bird cannot sit there or modern day pigeons. So we're going to a concert tonight, 24 euro, quite expensive for the worst seats. But the lady wants to see a concert, so we're going to see a concert. So here's an interesting toy store. And they're going around. They're alive. No, they're on strings. So here's some more dolls. Wow. They have everything here. See Michael Jackson. Creepy Harry Potter, Jack Sparrow, Frozen, Pinocchio, Charlie Chaplin, typical magnets you can find everywhere. So they make it. Wow. I expected you would choose this one. Oi, what you got there? You don't even know the name. Happiness is called. It's called happiness? Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the gallery of steel figures. Oi, oi, oi. Wow, what is this? It's the car from a movie. Here's Bugs Bunny. So here's the Museum of Torture. Yeah, and here's Madame Tussauds of Prague. Jim Carrey. Bruce Willis. But it costs 10 euro entrance. So here we're getting to the main square of Prague. Fancy air massage, air condition, but it's freezing outside. Boy. It smells good. And they have the fishes. So this is the astrological clock. It's very unique in the world. And as you can see, everybody is waiting for the full hour to make it move. The show, the show will happen. The show will happen in those two blue windows. Can you see the blue windows? Yeah. The blue windows will open. Thank you. The blue windows will open. Uh, and the apostles will show with a key because he holds the key to the kingdom of God. Uh, so the skeleton is the uh, death. It's the death reminding us about our mortality. Memento Mori, the skeleton will strike the time, uh, pulling the bell. So it's happening in like 30 seconds, maybe go somewhere there. Oh, that's it already. Oh. Memory of oh. Interesting. Captain Candy. Oh la la. Yeah. It's a little market here in the city. They have the clock in the miniature form. You can buy it as a souvenir. <laughs> so it's lunchtime. My cost almost four dollar, while Paula's was almost eight dollar. The little girl eats more. So here's the National Museum of the Czech Republic. Oi, oi, oi. Some souvenirs.
So here with the river. And over there is the famous bridge. Wow, there's a swan. Yeah. We even have a beer museum. Everything. Here are some water rats. Look like capybaras. Check capybaras. Here's some art in the park. Very nice view from the top of the hill. It's like a church hotel here, on top of the hill. It's a very nice plaza, with a beautiful view next to the palace with the guards. So here, this is not a dome of Cologne, but it is just as pretty. There's the church from the inside. Chapel of Rudmila. It's a very pretty church. So I guess we just sneak in here at the palace. We can enjoy some of the pretty paintings and the view from the balcony. Wow! That is fantastic! He's a very special dog. What kind of race is that? A beagle, I guess. A Are you a beagle? Yeah. Ay, 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 ay. So here was the demonstration. This is a big toy shop. This Iron Man. Wow, they have a giant carousel here. This hog. I've never seen such a big toy shop. Prague is one of my favorite cities in Europe because the architecture is just so beautiful, the medieval style. And as you can see here, it's best observed from the air.
arrived in a new hotel for $35 a day. Krunau in the Moldo. That's the name. So here we have a private bathroom. Even though on booking it was stated shared bathroom, so maybe they give us a free upgrade. So here's our stuff as always. Here this is the lobby. It's very strange here, they're selling handbags. I don't know if they're selling a lot. I don't think so, it's a hotel. Nobody would expect it. But what I really like is that they have a restaurant right next to it. The beer is two dollars for half liter. And here we had Pension Wieseratzka. I don't know. As you can see on the opposite side, it's the same hotel. The previous one. Apparently something happened there. So it was abandoned. And they built this new one just on the opposite side. And we have beautiful weather today. As you can see, Kruno at the Moldau, it is just amazingly beautiful. It's one of my favorite cities, not only in Czech Republic, but of entire Europe. It is such a beautiful medieval town. The architecture and nature surround it is just breathtaking. Oh, it's probably, it really can compete with Prague. It's a different thing because Prague is a huge city and this is more like a township. Crazy beautiful, as you can see. So today we're here at the city called Kronau at the Moldau, which is on the south of the Czech Republic. And as you can see, it is a very pretty city. In fact, it is UNESCO World Heritage and it's famous for its medieval architecture and landscapes and it's just probably the most beautiful city after Prague, the entire Czech Republic. So here you can see a nice map of the city. We're here in the middle where the red point is and over there you can see this is the uh, tower which you can see here on the left and this maybe it's a castle and it's this beautiful city. Very pretty designs here at the street. Here we have the exact copy of Captain Candy. Now this is not Captain Candy, this is a copy but they have the same things, candy shop. So here we are at the market square. It's a very pretty fountain. And it's quite empty as it's already 7.30. You can see the original Czech name is Chesky Krumlov. Yeah? And it's a very old city named UNESCO. So very special on this building. It's the Museum of Torture which is closed already. Well, it says until 8 p.m. and it's just 7.30. Here are selling souvenirs, clocks of course, the houses, yeah. And they even have a miniature of this little castle. This seems to be the place to be after dark or after the evening because this is the most lively place in town. It's a museum, but I have no idea what this is about. So everything is about beer here. Yeah, Czech, Slovakia has some of the best beers in the world. Czech Republic. Here's to be the occasion. Looks like a wedding. They have bears down here, just in front of the castle. Oof, the bears are to protect the castle. The bears came out. The castle is under good protection. Wow. And here's the tower, which unfortunately is closed at this time. And inside the tower, the castle, you can see these things. And here's the entrance to the castle. A nice view on the city. It's open. There's a map of a castle, but it's dark. Here's the amazing castle bridge. It's very windy. That's suicidal. <laughs> if you want to take a photo here, but... Oh my gosh, this is so deep. Over there is the garden. 
And he can take a quick peek through the window and see the old town. So here we have the castle gardens. How the room looks after we inhabit it. Messy, messy. So this is the back side of the abandoned hotel. On the other side, you have an amazing view on the city. Mostly you have to, we have to leave already today once the weather got a bit better. That's already it from the Czech Republic. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please support this channel and subscribe. And thanks for watching.